I'm Ben, and you're currently watching Ben Mancha. Before we get into the video, we have a giveaway going on. All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram, Ben Mancha, underscore, and comment down on the giveaway video. We'll be giving away at 1,000 subscribers, and at 500 subscribers, I will do a sneaker collection video. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Nike React foam that's coming out January 22nd for the new Nike React shoes coming out. They take a little bit of inspiration from the Flyknit Racers with the upper, but the, this bottom is Lunarlon right here. Lunarlon. And these were really comfortable and really light, and they said they're gonna be lighter than these. And a lot of people say that they are comparable to Boost, and Boost might be or the React Foam. We don't know yet until we get them in hand the 22nd. They just released a new shoe last year, Paper Max, which is very, very comfortable and very responsive. I love these shoes. These are so comfortable. Like one of the most comfortable shoes I have in my collection. I just love how bouncy they are. It's like walking on a trampoline. It's like walking like a tr on a, it's like walking on a trampoline. But yeah, Nike is releasing this new shoe. It's one full piece of React foam, like Boost. It's one full piece of Boost right here. There's no like parts inside or nothing. It's just one solid piece of pure React foam. And the upper is a flying It kind of looks like an Ultra Boost type of uh, toe box. Um, I think it's going to be a little problem because there's not a lot of um, rubber on the bottom. Like you see on the um, Pure Boost here, you have rubber um, protecting the boost. On React, they don't have that. It's just two little pieces of rubber pods right here. Um, I think that might be a problem. But they said that they um, tested them out and people tell them, told them they didn't even look like they wore them. So... I'm curious to see how it's going to hold up and how it's going to respond to everyday wear. Because that's basically what people are going to be wearing them as, everyday shoes. And retail price, I think, is $150, which isn't bad because these ones right here retail for $200 right here. And then these ones retail for $150 as well. So that's not a bad price. As well as these. These retail for $150. $150 is really not a bad price compared to $200 on something like this. But it's definitely worth it for these. I think the pair I want to get is the all black pair. I think if they can do the all black boost, they really can't do black boost. They have to paint it. It's going to be curious to see if they can actually uh, do different colors on the React foam. Or it's just going to be one white. And yeah, that's my thoughts on the Nike React uh, shoe coming out January 22nd. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think. Are they hot? Are they not? Are you going to cop them or drop them? What are you guys going to do? I think they're going to be almost like this shoe. Like I said, we have a giveaway going on. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, follow my Instagram at BenMacho, underscore and comment down on the giveaway video. Hope you liked the video. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Until next time, peace.